Welcome back to a brand new tip video. Today, we're going to be giving you guys the secret settings to really improve your aim. But a couple of these changes, you're going to be shooting straight like a pro. Now, the first one was introduced in MW and as a setting that every single pro player uses, well, at least 99% of them. And it's for a good reason. This is something you're going to really want to turn on. Let me show you. First, you're going to go to your settings, controller, and then for your aim response curve type, make sure this is dynamic. Fast starting movement that slows down to the aiming rate. So what that means is when you're moving your stick around, it really gives you that snap ability, which you will see with pro players. And what it does is at first it starts off fast. So when you're moving your stick around, it goes a little bit fast. And then towards the end, when you're about to slow down and aim at your opponent, it slows down with you. So this is going to allow you to really, you know, move your stick around, snap on someone. And at the end, it's going to slow down a little bit. And you see my aim is very precise towards the end for that reason. Now, this does take a little bit to get used to, but with some practice, you're going to be able to do things like that. And there's a reason why pretty much every single pro player uses the setting, because you can't really get that with standard or linear. Now, don't get me wrong. The other ones are OK, but if you really want to reach your full potential and have that snap ability like the pros do, you're going to want to use the setting. And now the next thing we're going to be talking about is a setting that it's not as OP in this game, but it's still utilized and some of the pros still use it till this day. So you're going to go to controller and then you're going to go to aiming settings. You're going to go all the way down to aim assist type and you can try black ops. So I have dabbled with default and black ops. I like them both. I think they both have their pros and cons. On default, I feel like I have a little bit more control of my aim, but I get less aim assist at certain fights. And with Black Ops, I feel like I get a little bit stickier aim assist, but certain gunfights, I feel like I can't control my aim as much and I miss a little bit for that reason. Now, I do like Black Ops a lot because it basically is extra aim assist and it helps you aim for you, which, you know, who doesn't like that? So I recommend you guys using Black Ops and trying it out. If you don't like it for some reason, you can always revert back to default. But this setting alone is going to help you with your aim and shoot straighter. Even with an SMG, an AR, a gun that has recoil control, you're going to notice you're going to get a little bit extra aim assist. And I feel like a lot of people are struggling with that right now because Modern Warfare 2 does feel like it has a little bit less aim assist when you're shooting your targets. But Black Ops makes you feel a little bit better in terms of that. It gives you a little bit more of that stickier aim assist. And I'm sure that's what you guys are all looking for. And that's why you're here. So make sure to swap to Dynamic just like that and Black Ops you're going to be shooting very straight. Now, let me show you what I can do in an actual match. And here we go. We got some terminal hard point. Going to be rocking, like I said, dynamic and Black Ops aim assist. And show you guys what I really can do with these settings. Now, dynamic, you're going to notice when you first switch to it that you're going to really have that snap ability. You know, that pro snap. You're like, wow, you able to snap like that? Yes, you can. With a little bit of practice. Oh, we're shooting. We're shooting grenade launchers. That's what we're doing. Come on, buddy. I know you want to pick me. Yeah, you're not winning that one. UAV popped. Beautiful. I love that. Gonna slide out. About to chow this. I'm in confidence. Slide cancel challenge. That guy's got erased off the game. Oh my god, they're all spawning here. That's a little headshot. Just, just all headshots. Just all head. That's all I'm getting. All head. I'm trying to tell you guys. The Black Ops thing. So one thing I've seen a lot of people talk about is like, I don't get much aim assist, Ab. Like, what can I do to fix this? Like, I feel like I'm not getting aim assist. You know, that's something someone actually told me on stream today. Yeah. Oh my God. Aim assist. Aim assist. We love aim assist. And something I mentioned to them was, well, if you want to shoot like this, wow, I'm just working them right now. But if you want that extra aim assist, you're, one of your best answers is Black Ops aim assist. No trolling, being 100% serious. You want extra aim assist like that. Laser. Do you want that extra aim assist? Wow. Use Black Ops. And of course, we got the good old dynamic. You're going to see me slide cancel around, snapping on people. Laser. I'll chow this. I'll chow this. Laser. And dynamic again allows you to you know swipe them sticks around man really allows you to swipe them sticks around and still be pretty precise on target and when you first switch to things like dynamic now oh, even black ops it's gonna feel weird at first but once you get a hang of it you start shooting very straight you know what i mean and that's probably gonna help you also play on a slower sense with dynamic on 
Because you don't. Wow, that was bad. See, turn around, super fast, drop shot. It's nothing but so easy. Help from a teammate, pop a UAV. Uh, just like anything, it is muscle memory. Like it's gonna give, it's gonna take some time to get used to. But once you get it, once you switch to it, and once you have some playtime behind it, you're gonna realize it definitely is a wave. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's trying to do a trick shot. Oh, yeah. And the one thing you're going to notice is my aim is just snappy, but also on point, you know? And I don't play on a fast sense, mind you. I don't play on a fast sense by any means. You you look at my game, you're probably saying, yeah, if you play on 7-7, seven, 8-8, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. No, no, no. No, no, no. I do not. I, I play on 6-6. Six, 6-6-1. Six. Six, six, a very standard sense most plural players play on. Because it's slightly fast and it also is really good to be precise and not miss shots. Like that. Like, he tries to eco chow him, he just gets put down. You know what I mean? Now, with the whole aim assist with Black Ops, to be honest... Look at that little snap. Look at that little snap. Come on now. What are we talking about? Is there a guy here that I see a shadow? Yes, yes, yes. I did see a shadow. He's dead too. You're chowing me. You're dead too. It's just, I'm just putting them in a, in a blender right now. Look at that laser snap. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but seriously, Black Ops aim assist will give you like the extra aim assist almost. And you will feel, you know, especially like a range. Like, wow. Just putting these guys in the dirt. But you will feel like at certain ranges, like the extra pull on the aim assist, which is very nice. Obviously very nice to have. But it is a little bit of a weird feeling, to be honest. Just to be completely honest with you guys. Like when I first switched to Black Ops, I didn't fully like it. You know, like I had to get used to it a little bit. But it's definitely with the aim assist part, like if you like default, just stick to default. If you feel like you're losing aim assist or you need some help, you know, with your aim, use Black Ops. You're going to notice a little bit more of a pull, which is very nice. Um, I've asked a lot of pros, you know, what they use, and I've definitely got mixed answers. Some pros like Black Ops aim assist. Some people like default. I, I like them both. I mean, they both, I, IMO, I think they both have their pros and cons. You know what I mean? Default feels more natural. And it feels like you can control your aim more. Like you have more control of your stick, more of your aim. Versus like it kind of aims for you. Which you think is a good thing. But like when you got to make those minuscule adjustments on your stick and your aim. Eh, Black Ops kind of messes you up there. So the pro is, well, with Black Ops you get more aim assist. Especially medium to long range. The con is you, some certain gunfights you get, you know, less control of your aim. Which can cost you and can get you killed in some fights. Wow, I'm just spawn killing these guys. I feel so bad for them. I feel so bad for them. I'm going to make them uninstall the game. And you know, don't feel discouraged. Like, anybody can reach my aim and get really good at Call of Duty and shoot like me. And shoot nukes and shoot like be precise. If you follow the right settings, the right tips, the right information and you apply it. You know, you can definitely achieve a high level or even S tier aim. Not even a, it's not even a question, you know? It will take some time and some practice, but... This is why I do these videos. This is why I try to help you guys, you know? You can just see the dynamic coming into play when I'm moving around and snapping on people. That fast, that fast swipe, and then just that slow down right there at the end when I ADS. Obviously, my ADS sense is slightly slower, but that's also what dynamic helps with. I can just kind of run around and swipe around, swipe my sticks around. Not even a problem. Laser him. Got another Overwatch helo. I don't know if they're rage quitting. Just peel that kid off the heady. Like it's nothing. Gun that kid too. It's just too easy. We got him in a nasty spawn trap here. Yeah, I can spin around in circles. It wouldn't be a problem. Still not a problem. You see? That's dynamic, baby. That's that dynamic slash Black Ops aim assist. I can spin around and just still aim pretty well when I see once I'm at the, my target. I'm gonna laser him off this. Nope. It's too easy. And if you guys haven't already, man, go make sure to go check out my other YouTube videos as well. My other two videos. Go show some love. Drop some likes. I'm here to teach you guys and help you guys get better, man. That's what I'm here, baby. That's what I'm here for. Giving you guys, trying to give you guys the best settings, the best, the best tips, the best information.
And this is an easy 60 bomb. It's a GG's. They're quitting. I'm making them rage quit. This guy's just giving up. I mean, wow. 63 clinical. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe. I'm sorry I made them rage quit. I love you guys. Peace out.